I'm Rod Slasher Breslau here in Millennium Stefano at the end of MLG Columbus 2012. And we have Hart going up against Dong Gu in the lower bracket finals to play against Marine King in the finals. So before we get into how your weekend went, um, you've been watching the lower bracket finals now and seemingly Derek Dong Gu is in the lead right now. Might play against Marine King again as a rematch for the winner arena. Well, how do you think about the results so far this weekend? I didn't like really follow what happens. Uh, as soon as I lost like the tournament, I just like forget everything and try not to f- really follow. I just followed today the game between DRG and Hearts, the first game. That's it. So no surprise, I guess. Except uh, Soke, who did really good, I think. I heard he did, he did some good results, but that's it. Does the last three of Marine King, Dong Regu, and Hart surprise you at all, or were that kind of expected for you going in? I didn't even know uh, Hart before, but Marine King and DRG, like, I expect them to be in the top three at least, both of them. I expect MC to be there too, but he did some mistake, I guess, like me. Now let's go up to your games. You, of course, had the infamous rematch against Polt once again after defeating him in the Lone Star Clash. Before that match happened, how are you feeling going in? Well, as always, I'm really worried to play Polt. I know he's a really good player and he has like one of the best TVZ, in my opinion. So I wasn't too confident, but still more confident than before because I could uh, get the win in Lone Star Clash against him two, twice in a row. So I wasn't like really, really afraid of him, but I'm guess I'm disappointed by the result because I won twice in a row and then I lose the next game. So I'm not really like consistent in my results. To me, you played maybe the match of the entire tournament, especially with how things went and the back and forth nature and how long it was, especially the history between you two. But he did end up beating you two to one in some very close games. Uh, what do you think happened there? Uh, the first game, I was way too confident. I, I, I thought I would... Uh, I had the game won, so I just like uh, eight clicks, something like that. I, d- I didn't really care about the game anymore, but uh, I didn't really scout his uh, fourth base. He was one. Uh, he had one hidden, and I think that's why I lost. Well, I was a bit too confident in it. After the second game, I played almost perfect. I can say I didn't like lose anything, did any mistakes. My lava was good, my clip was good, so it was kind of easy win. And the third game, I can say I played a bit bitchy because I didn't really scout. I didn't try to scout. I had no map control and I st- uh, teched straight to take two with no units, no spines, no queens, nothing. And he attacked me and I had no defense. So my bad. Do you think that was due to nerves at all? Mm, not really, not really. I just like expecting him to play as he always uh, plays which is like fast third command centers no like huge aggression in early game he tries to go in micro game as he's good in it and yeah as i said my bad did he just switch things up on you maybe based upon how many times he's already played you yeah last game he made something he never used against me which is the helion model kind of all in he he played really good because it's a kind of my mind game match you now as we keep meeting each other always again and again so he has to change a bit his strategy that's what i did in Lone Star clash and i surprised him i guess he did the same here for me when i spoke to Polt after his match he said from the his win against you he felt like he could go on and win the entire tournament i mean coming from your end losing that match did you still have confidence going forward yeah <clears throat> Polt is for me like one of the best players in the world as a terran so I wasn't really sad about the loss. Uh, I had always like I had still the uh, need to win, the want. I still wanted to win the tournament. I was not like destroyed and really sad about it. But yeah, since I lost to Enori, I was really, uh, I'd say, wasted. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about the rivalry that you and Paul have established over the past few months? I think it's a really good thing because it forces us to get better and better as we have kind of the same level. So we try to find some new strategies and new timings and stuff like that, which is a really good thing and it improves our uh, TVZ or uh, ZVT. It depends on which size you look. I hope it will keep going. Do you think the rivalry that you two have established uh, ranks up with other huge rivalries in StarCraft 2 scene? 
Um, uh, I'm not like a gossip, I guess I can say. So I don't really know who's rival in StarCraft 2. Uh, I don't follow it, so I can't say. When you went up against Inori in the lower bracket, I wasn't able to catch the games, but I heard you weren't too pleased with the way things turned out. Could you go into what happened there? But I can say he played smart, but or maybe he did, maybe he didn't, but it was, he had like a really gamble build, which is no scout, Nexus first, then Gates, then Forge, which is really, really risky against Zerg, especially when you don't scout. Uh, maybe, as I said, it was smart for him because he know I don't really scout and I don't really uh, put any aggression in the early game, or maybe it was just a gamble. He would just hoped for me to play the same way as I always do. Anyway, well played for him. Do you think it was he kind of had a coin flip in his way of playing against you? Kind of. As I said, it's either smart or coin flip. I can't say. I ha you have to ask him. So that, of course, put you out of the tournament. And, of course, you're disappointed going out rather early is one of the maybe, – maybe the biggest favorite of all the foreigners going into this weekend. But overall, how do you feel about your performance this weekend and um, where you ended up placing at the end? I feel really bad for my performance this weekend. I didn't beat a single good player. I met only North American players and I beat them easily. And as soon as I met a Korean or a good player, I lost. So really disappointed by myself. I hope I will do better in IPL. Yeah, that's it. Do you feel like this is due to how you played and your performance? Or do you think that you just had to go up against some pretty strong opponents? I don't think Anori is uh, better than me. Usually I beat Protoss really easily. I just played really, really bad, I think. Uh, I should have played way more safe, I guess. Because uh, I, I know in late game I can't really lose against Protoss, so I should have like played more safe, don't try to go macro too fast and just take my time. Just a week before, you had won the Lone Star Clash going into this event, so it seemed like you had a lot of momentum going in. You are playing really well. Do you think there's anything that happened in the few days leading up to it that made it so you didn't perform the same way? I, I didn't really practice at all between Lone Star Clash and MLG, but it doesn't matter a lot. So I can still play really good without practicing, but it's maybe one of the reasons I didn't like do the, did a good result here. Now, coming out of this event, you, of course, have IPL 4 in just a few weeks, which you are a returning champion from IPL 3, so maybe even more pressure on that event than at MLG. Do you feel like you'll be able to get some practice in and get your skill level up to where you want to be by then? I'm not really worried about IPL because uh, I'm in uh, the pool play straight, so no open brackets, no shitty uh, schedule and stuff like that so no worries about it I know when I meet a good player I can play really good and I'm not really afraid of Marine King or White or uh, the guy who will come from the open bracket nobody really scares me there I just hope I will like find my real level now you mentioned the open bracket here at MLG and this is the second time you've been to MLG and the second time you've had a rather rough open bracket on your way to try to get to the championship pools. Do you think that you'll return to MLG knowing that you might have to go through the same regimen? Uh, I, I, pref uh, I prefer way better the way MLG is done right, uh, like this year than last year because we have the uh, how to say arena before the MLG. I think I will try to get to the next arena to get a, a seed and get straight to the pool play, which is what I just want. It's I play way better when I play against a good player than when I have to play bad player than a good player because the level difference is quite huge and we get some bad habits playing against uh, bad players. So I just hope I will manage to get seeded in the arena. How would you compare yourself to your skill level? to everyone else right now? I really can't say, I can't give an answer to that because I didn't really uh, meet uh, Naniwa for quite a long time. Uh, same for Huck. Uh, I, drew, I just met him on Leiden, never done a like, uh, important game against him. So I can't really compare myself to them because we need to meet each other to know who's the best between us. But it doesn't really matter as long as I'm pretty sure we have kind of the same level and it's pointless to try to find who's the best without fighting each other. So when we will meet, we, need, we will see who's the best. And as a last comment, I wonder if you had anything, anything to say to fans um, or your community back at home. 
Sure, so I want to thank Millennium that supports our sponsors, uh, my fans in America, French people who support me, and my family too, my cousins, my brother, my mother. They're starting to support me a lot in what I do. and I, ex I didn't expect it when I started playing StarCraft 2, so I love it. Well, I think your French and American fans both love you both. So thank you, Stefano.